Okay, today what I want to do is show you how to put numbers into perspective. Okay, what we've got here is some numbers that I've downloaded from CanSim. Okay, now the numbers I want to put into perspective are these figures on Canada and Quebec pension plan revenues. Okay, you can see that these are really growing over time, right? But that tells us basically nothing, okay? The Canadian population is growing, inflation is growing, you know, all sorts of other things are changing. So that really just looking and seeing while well, these numbers have increased over time doesn't tell us that much. So the what we're going to do today is try and put those numbers into perspective. Now I've done a whole bunch of prep work here, downloading a whole bunch of different series. This these numbers here tell you the CanSim table numbers. Um, if you want to do this project yourself at home, you'll need to download the data from CanSim. Okay, so suppose, for example, you want to download this series here, which is the number of people who are 65 years and older in the population. Well, we can just copy this table number, go over to CanSim, search for the table in CanSim, and there, pops up. We add and remove data to get the number of people who were over 65, uh, all the way down to, it's right down at the bottom, all the people over 65. Uh, somewhere, anyway, somewhere in there, this is where I got it from, is the number of, of uh, persons over the age of 65. Oh, 65 years and older. Here we are. Okay, so that's so that's where you download it from, and then you have to select the year and stuff. Okay, so that's uh, where we've got all of those. Okay, so we've done all this prep work, getting all of these different tables from CanSim. Okay, so what I want to do is put these numbers, this Canada Quebec pension plan, into perspective. Okay, so here is a bunch of different ways of doing it. Okay, I'm just going to copy my uh, date column over here so I just remember what year I've got. First way of thinking about the Canada Quebec pension plan is what is it as a percent of government revenue? Okay, so I've got the total revenue of all. This is like total federal, provincial revenue, including the Canada Quebec pension plan. How is it changing as a percentage of government revenue? Well, we just take this, divide it by that. There, it's a proportion. We may not like that. Let's make it pretty. So we're going to make it into a percent with, ah, let's just say, one decimal space. Okay, there we go. In 1989, Canada Quebec pension plan amounted to 5% of government revenues. Okay, now this is the exciting bit. How's that changing over 20 years? Big increase, eh? From 5% to 8% of government revenue. And you can see this actually, well, you know, it kind of goes up and down with the business cycle, right? So as the business cycle, so, so what you're seeing here in the first part of the series, you're seeing the effect of increasing the contribution rates. You just, then you start to see the effect of other taxes being cut. So cuts in the personal income tax, cuts in the GST, make Canada Quebec pension plan relatively more important. Then this last year, 2009, the economy tanks, some of the other sources of profits, sorry, some of the other sources of government revenue become relatively less important. Canada Quebec pension plan becomes relatively more important as a source of revenue. Okay, so that's kind of that's kind of cool. Okay, um, so let's say how important is it, say, relative to um, uh, uh, the size of the economy? So let's look at it as a percentage of GDP. Okay, so we can do the same thing: take revenues as a percentage of GDP. Okay. Again, format it as a percent, make it pretty. Ah, not 3% decimal points, we need 1% decimal point. Okay, there we go. 
Control C, Control V. Okay. Again, what we're seeing is this becoming more important relative to the economy. Now I'm starting to think and then thinking, okay, is this just the because um, there's two sorts of Canada Quebec pension plan revenue. One is the contributions, one is the profits from the fund. Um, so I'm thinking I need to go back and look at exactly what this Canada Quebec pension plan revenue is defined it at. Is it actually just the contributions, or do we have some some money in terms of of invest returns from the fund coming in here as well? Because you can see it's really increasing relative to the size of the economy. Okay, now. The, the thing though is like, okay, well this is this is great, but is it how is it relative to um, uh, let, let's think about it if we're thinking about these Canada Quebec pension plan, this revenue from the Canada Quebec pension plan, how is it say relative to the number of contributors to the plan? okay? So if we want to say think about okay, how much is, Canada Quebec pension plan revenue relative to the number of contributors to the plan first of all we're going to have to adjust for inflation then we're going to have to adjust for the number of contributors to the plan okay so let's say um, begin by putting it in 2011 dollars okay so now what we're going to do is take our Canada Quebec pension plan revenue adjust it for inflation okay how are we going to do that well, here's our revenue. Now, what we have here is some inflation numbers I've, I've downloaded. This is the consumer price index. Okay, where the consumer price index works is it says, okay, here's a bundle of goods that cost $100 in 2002. What did they cost in 1989? 1989 that bundle would have only cost $77, okay? So if we want to adjust for inflation, we divide by that, the, the fact that, that things were cheaper in 1989, okay? And that gets us things in 1989 prices, right? But we don't want things in 1989 prices. We want them in 2011 prices so we can understand them. So let's go up here. This is 2011 prices. This is saying, okay, let's bring everything up to take into account of all the inflation in this period. And here we go. Okay. So this is Canada Quebec pension plan revenues in 2011 dollars. Now you can see, uh, okay, let's just uh, fix the formatting here again. So it looks pretty format cells, uh, numbers with no decimal points. Okay. So we can read it. Okay, so this is $20,000, but it's not $20,000 because our numbers were in millions here. So it's actually $20 billion. Okay, it's 20,000 million, which is 20 billion. Okay, now let's move it forward here. Why is this not working? Oh, you know why it's not working? Is I forgot to adjust this for, um, I forgot to keep that number there. That's, that's it. Okay. You have to put a little dollar sign here to tell it, keep this at 27 because we want everything in $2,011. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, that didn't work. Why is this not working? There we go. Okay. So we've now adjusted everything for inflation. Okay. And you can see that, I mean, there's a, there's a big increase. This Canada Quebec pension plan revenue is more than doubled, but the increase is much less than here where you haven't adjusted for inflation. You can see how vital it is to always adjust for inflation. Okay. So here we have this number in $2,011. Okay. So how about we say what it is in $2,011 per employed person, okay? So this is looking and thinking, okay, 
how much is this Canada Quebec pension plan revenue for every single person in the economy who's employed? Okay. Now, we have to be a little bit careful here because here, and this is where I, why I wrote down all of these units here, our Canada Quebec pension plan revenue data is in millions, our employment data is in thousands. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful when we're uh, doing all this. Okay, um, and if we get like a really stupid number that's either like in pennies or in millions per person, then we know that we've made a mistake with our like our millions and our thousands and everything. Okay, so we're going to take here our uh, Candle Quebec revenue in 2011 dollars and divide it by the number of employed people. Oh, sorry. Here's our revenue divided by the number of employed people, right? Oh, that's not good. We have our, that can't be right. Yeah, this is our revenues in millions our number of employed people in thousands. So we have to actually multiply, have to multiply this. Um, what am I doing here? Let me have to redo this. Okay. Redo. Our revenue in millions adjusted for inflation. Okay, so it's our mil revenue in millions adjusted for our inflation divided by our number of people who are employed. Now, revenues in millions, employment is in thousands, so we're going to have to multiply the whole thing by a thousand dollars to get a sensible number. Okay, so that's like fifteen hundred dollars per person, which kind of is, is not far off, right? Because you think that the maximum is about per person is about a thousand dollars, that's for the employee, right? Put in the employee, employer share as well. That's about two thousand. We've got some revenue from the fund as well in terms of return on investment. So that sounds about right. Okay, uh, let's just uh, format that again so it's pretty. You know, let's make it dollars here. Isn't that nice? That reminds us that it's dollars. Okay, uh, one thousand five hundred and fifty-four dollars per employed person. Okay. How has it changed? Well, you see, there it's doubled. Okay. Canada Quebec pension plan revenue per employed person has doubled over this period in constant dollars. Now that's really interesting, eh? I mean it gives you some sense of um you know, the, these, these fact, and, and it really is true when you start looking at the contribution rates, these contribution rates really increased through the 90s. That's what you're seeing there, the, you know, the increase in these contribution rates through the 90s, plus, you know, um, and I said I need to check these numbers, you know, and seeing how much of the return on the fund is, is included in here. But, you know, you can, you can see this is a big increase per employed person. But, you know, if you're a pensioner, you want to know, okay, is there actually going to be enough money here to pay for my, my pension, right? So let's look at how this Canada Pension Plan revenue is relative to the number of uh, pensioners in the economy. Okay, so again, we're going to take our real adjusted for inflation Canada Quebec Pension Plan revenue, and that's what this is. This is this column L is our. Um, Canada Quebec pension plan revenue in millions adjusted for inflation. Okay, so we'll take that and divide it by the number of people 65 and older. Oh, and, and over. Now we have a bit of a problem here. Our revenue data is in millions, our person data is just like in individual people. So we're going to have to now start multiplying, not just by a thousand this time, actually by a million. Okay, have I got the zeros right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, a million zeros. There we go. Okay, 
so you can see, well, you know, you can see that this, this system was working fine, right? I mean, you think about how does this system get sustained, you know, because remember, not everybody gets Canada Quebec pension plan, right? If you're, you know, if you're somebody like, you know, my mother who was not employed, or at least she wasn't working for pay, she's not getting any, right? So, so when you think, you know, not everybody's getting this Canada Quebec pension plan relative to the number of people who are 65 and old over, that's actually not a bad number. You can see that actually the thing was, was working. Now let's see how that starts going as we start getting some population aging going on. Well, you know, it's, it's going up, it's going up and it's actually becoming ever more, it's even, you know, becoming more per person 65 years and, and over. But, you know, 2009, the baby boomers haven't hit right? In fact, in 2009, you have relatively few old people because there weren't so many people, you know, because you have the low birth rates during the war and during the depression, right? So you don't actually do not have a lot of old people in this period. So, you know, you know, these revenue numbers look really good because you're building up the fund and there aren't so many old people. I mean, the question really is how this looks going forward. So anyway, just to recap, um, you know, you can see numbers on their own really, you know, Canada Quebec pension plan revenue in millions doesn't tell any kind of a story. It really doesn't. Um, where it makes, the way we tell it, make it story, and we maybe we can really understand that, is by putting it and showing it in relation to, to other things. You can see it's become increasingly important as a share of government revenue, um, grown by about um, uh, 50% relative to the economy is grown by over 50%. Adjusted for inflation, it's more than doubled. It's grown by over 150%. Relative to the number of people working for pay in the economy, Canada Quebec pension plan revenues have doubled relative to the number of people over 65, they've less than doubled. And uh, this number is going to be coming down, folks. So, uh, you know, don't plan that Freedom for 55 retirement cruise. Anyway, talk to you later.